What's up Agency Go fam? So dashboards, 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 they are the most important thing for managing client relationships and showing them that you actually are doing a good job on their accounts. It's also great for internal marketing to make sure that your company is actually growing and scaling because you have easy access to metrics for your business. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down for you what the best agency dashboards are and which ones you should use for your business. My name is Lucas James and I am the creator of agencygo.io. Um, we are here to help scale agencies to over $185,000 per month like I was able to do for my business. Let's jump into it. So of course you could always use Google Data Studio. This is a very common one I see people in our community using and I don't actually use it myself, which is why I'm just showing you a templated version of the Google Data Studio site, but you could do a lot with this. I mean, you can actually build super custom reports for your clients. I think that's the key though, is around customization. And when you think about it, when you're creating reports for your agency, you might have technical skills, you might have technical knowledge, but as you start to scale your agency out, you're gonna have other people creating these reports for your clients and if they're not super technically savvy let's say you have an account manager who needs to whip these up you're gonna have to find someone to make all these make all the integrations manage all the integrations not to mention you're always gonna have to maintain different connections between your clients and this dashboard or these dashboards which might be tedious because if you lose you know for instance if you hit add data right you're gonna have to actually connect all these different studios and, and analytics and things like that so you have to get permission from these different accounts to do this. So it might take time and it might be a little too cumbersome. And for certain clients, it might just be more trouble than it's actually worth. And that's why I personally stay away from it. But the one that it seems everyone uses is Google Data Studio. That's sort of a, a normal one. So, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best for the purpose of scaling your agency. I don't recommend it as the main one. Now, obviously there's agency analytics, which is another common one. This one's used by a lot of people. This is more in line with what I would recommend. Now, the reason I don't personally use it is because of the price. Uh, and because I don't actually need as many integrations as they offer for my clients because we offer search engine marketing uh, and uh, uh, lead generation. And that's really only two or three different things we need to show people, which is Google Analytics, uh, their LinkedIn lead generation rankings, and also, I mean, statistics, and then also any cold email. And that's essentially it. Uh, there's not a lot else going on. So I'll show you at the end of this, so which one is my favorite, but this is this is definitely up there because I love the simplicity of it. And like I said, it's not about technical prowess with our agency because well, we do have two technical people on the team, but they handle a lot of the deliverables. They're not making these reports. People making the reports are people who are not super technically savvy. So I don't want to have them have to mess around and, and think through. But again, if you're dealing with something like this, you're gonna still need to get all those integrations with their accounts, which means you have to go through an onboarding process of getting them to connect it. And then if they get disconnected, you've got to reconnect them, which means even though this is a lot more user-friendly, it's still a bit of an issue. But again, the pricing on this is a little bit more expensive, I would say, because this is per client campaign. So you're basically slapping on 15 bucks for every single client. However, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty, it's, 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 it is pretty cost affordable compared to the other competitors out there. Like there's some ones that are very expensive, but this is, I would say more on the average side. It's just, it's pr probably not the best one to use for most agencies. I, would, I wouldn't really necessarily recommend it. Uh, Google Data Studio is free though. So you can use that just for free, just starting. So in terms of technical ability, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot more technical to get going on Google Data Studio, but it also is free. So that's the one benefit. Now, obviously you have Google Analytics. This is just uh, my Google Analytics account for Agency Go, the new website we threw up, which is why the traffic's not as high as Twiz. Um, but we have, you know, seen some solid growth on social media and stuff like this. And, and this alone is a built-in analytics feature that, you know, if, if you're asking the question of what's the best dashboard, well, if we're being real for most clients, it's just Google Analytics because a lot of clients don't even understand how to use Google Analytics, nor do they have it set up correctly. So if you're trying to impress your clients, just become well-versed in Google Analytics because you could just say, hey, uh, this is how you're supposed to use it. Look at your reporting, look at your data. I mean, they have literally no clue how to use this. Plus, Google Analytics just rolled out a bunch of new updates in the past few months that have made it a lot easier to use, give you a lot more insights like this. See, users for browser Safari, on website have spiked, uh, New Year's routers browser have spiked. So this kind of stuff is making it a lot easier for even non-technical people to use it. And most websites have Google Analytics set up already, so you don't have to worry about reconnecting it as often because usually it just comes 
with a website setup. You know, it's one of the first things people do. So you don't have to really worry about that too much. And I was, it also, it is free. Both Data Studio and Google Analytics are free. So what I would say is that with Google Analytics, you can use that as your main dashboard for most people. Um, it's the easiest to set up usually because usually it's already set up. Um, and it is, you know, it is free uh, and it requires very little customization to get going. Whereas Google Data Studio requires a lot more customization, a lot more legwork, but it also is free. Now, another one that I liked using for a while, this is probably the most dead simple one to use. Reporty. This was super dead simple. They made it really easy to integrate with places. It's actually out of Brazil, I believe, um, as of where the company's from, but they offer the service across the globe. What eventually got me uh, off of it, though, was I didn't really think it was worth the price that they have here. Um, you know, so the, um, or sorry, excuse me, the, 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 the price here was okay, but I didn't like their advanced pricing. I thought the basic plan was solid, but as it scaled up, I thought it kind of got a little unreasonable. Um, but again, that's, you know, more so, this is more so of a consideration when you're managing a lot of clients and not just a couple dozen. Really, at the end of the day, if you have less than 60 clients in your agency, it doesn't matter which one of these you pick, just pick your poison. It's fine. It, it really doesn't matter. Obviously, having $15 per month for five clients means you're basically paying $3 per client per month, which is a, which is five times less than agency analytics. So maybe I'm being a little picky here uh, because we have a good amount of clients. We have over 100 clients in our agency. But, uh, you know, these are things that I think about as we scale. Really, I'm baking it in the cost of all the other things we spend money on, which is why it's important. Now, this leads me to my final and favorite tool. Um, and the reason I'm going to pick Airtable is because they just rolled out a new interface feature. I'm not sponsored by Airtable in any way, although I should be. Probably be a smart move. Uh, Airtable has interfaces. Interfaces are pretty solid. They give you reports uh, that just come from the database. So I'm not going to show you the database because it has a lot of sensitive client information there. But uh, in that database, it says, you know, how many clients. So we have like 120, 123 active clients right now. Um, <clears throat> how many have churned, how many have paused, et cetera. But this is automatically pulled from our database. So unlike with Google Analytics, or, or sorry, Data Studio or uh, Agency Analytics or Reporty, and maybe even Google Analytics, uh, you don't have to set up anything. This already comes created. You just press a few buttons. If you're already using the Airtable database, it'll generate charts for you. And this is just super simple to set up. So you don't have to worry about reintegrating things. And the reason it's important is because usually with agencies, right? Most of the data, at least for us, when it comes to lead generation, is actually self-reported data, right? It's not data that's instantly aggregated. Our team goes in, how many connections were sent out, how many messages, how many meetings were booked, et cetera. That kind of stuff is qualitative uh, or not qualitative, but it's self-reported. You have to actually go out and investigate it and get it and put it into uh, a, spread a spreadsheet. So in that situation, I recommend Google Day or Airtable because it's super easy to use. You can see prospect overview, how many prospects there were, you know, where they come from, LinkedIn, right? Uh, you know, 67% uh, come from a certain location. Uh, you can see outbound data, you know, how much, where is it coming from over a certain period of time, LinkedIn. Uh, this is, I think, a, for a, one of our clients right now. Um, and then you have lead feedback. You can see like the breakdown of uh, certain, you know, scores. I think the average for us is about six, is about the average for, uh, uh, an average quality lead, which actually might sound bad for a lot of people because six out of 10 usually means uh, passing or, fa or failing in high school or college. But actually six out of 10 when it comes to lead generation, in my opinion, is solid because most people that you're talking to are not gonna always be really, really quality. And you wanna aim for a scale, you're gonna need to sacrifice a little bit of quality if you wanna get more meetings, which means you're gonna close more deals. I can go into that in another video if you guys want to, but this wins. Airtable interfaces wins in my opinion. You don't need any integrations, even though you can integrate stuff and it instantly becomes generated from your database. The only exception here is that it's not gonna connect you to things like Google Analytics. So if I were to choose from this, let's say somebody has Google Analytics set up already, which most people do, obviously use that, become proficient in it. And then I would probably say reporty just because the cost is definitely lower than agency analytics. Again, it's $3 per month per client, which is because they're a startup, they're trying to get new users to try to undercut agency analytics. And it's pretty much exactly the same thing as agency analytics. There's not really much of a difference. So if I had to pick the right combo, not just the best dashboard, the right combo to use for my agency, I'd probably go with reporty, Airtable, and Google Analytics. You got those three things, you're gonna nail it for 95% of clients and they're not gonna ask a lot of questions. So hopefully this has been helpful.